Hello my friends, namaste, hope you are doing good, welcome to my channel and today I'm back with a new video, I will react to how India is buying the United Kingdom's uh, largest companies, uh, actually this title is very catching and uh, I really, I'm really so curious to see uh, what's, uh, what it's talking about and uh, I decided to watch, uh, to watch it together so as we know india has become one of the united kingdom's largest uh, foreign investors uh, buying up its largest companies so it's an important news uh, and important uh, information so let's get into the video let's be ready three two one let's go Indian companies are increasingly becoming global oh. players, acquiring companies left and right. One of the largest strategic destinations for Indian companies is none other than the United Kingdom. The two countries share a distinct history with one another, one that is built on controversies but also trade, investments, and business cooperation. What led Indian companies to invest in the United Kingdom is not merely due to geopolitics, but also the UK stands as one of the most important financial powerhouses oh. in the entire world, coupled with its technological advancement and robust market. But the most perplexing question about these is actually about India. India is still a developing economy, with an economic size of about $3.3 trillion. While it is above the United Kingdom oh. at $3 trillion, India is still by no means a financial powerhouse. Its investments, which at times ranges to over a billion dollars, should then imply a deeper meaning. If Indian companies can invest in overseas companies worth this much, does it then imply that there is more opportunity in the United Kingdom than in India's domestic market? Arguably one of the world's fastest growing destinations. Well, it's quite complicated to say the least. But to understand why India is investing so much in the United Kingdom, we must first understand what companies exactly. are Indian businesses buying. To start off, one of India's largest and most famous companies is Reliance Reliant. Industries. Reliance is a company worth nearly $200 billion Whoa. and has revenues of more than $100 billion. Their reach, therefore, is significant. And in the United Kingdom, they are one of the most significant foreign investors. In 2021, they made a $100 million acquisition oh. in Feradian Limited. Feradian is one of the leading global battery technology companies. In 2019, Reliance also acquired the British toy maker Hamleys. Hamleys, at the time of acquisition, owned 167 stores across 18 countries. In India, Reliance has the master franchise for Hamleys and presently operates 88 stores across 29 cities. Reliance Industries also acquired the iconic British hotel Stoke Park in 2021 for 57 million pounds. Beyond Reliance Industries, there is also Tata Group. Tata Group has long been a buyer of yeah. British goods. Back in 2000, they acquired the giant British tea company Tetley. The deal, which was only $407 Whoa. million dollars at that time, helped Tata become a global tea company. Tata Motors yeah, also acquired the iconic Jaguar and Land Rover from Ford Motors. Although it was owned by a US company, these two are still headquartered in the UK, and its history belongs to that country. On top of these blockbuster deals, Tata Group recently announced in mid-2023 that it was investing a whopping oh. 4 billion euros in a UK gigafactory. The project will secure UK-produced batteries for Jaguar Land Rover as well as other manufacturers in the UK and Europe. The gigafactory stands at over 40 gigawatts, one of Europe's largest, and will produce a whopping 4,000 employees. In the IT field, we also have WePro and Infosys. WePro once made a $1.45 billion deal to acquire Capco, a London headquartered consultancy firm. Infosys, on the other hand, had acquired a small company known as Brilliant Basics in 2017. And finally, Tata Chemicals has also Amazing. been an active investor. It acquired Cheshire Salt Holdings, parent company of British Salt. Another less talked about investment is the acquisition of a 40% stake in Oak North Bank, but eventually sold some of its stake in later years. 
These are just some of the many more acquisitions out there, but these are enough to prove that Indian companies are indeed buying millions to hundreds it's of millions so and billion dollar companies in the United Kingdom, exactly. which was once it's India's colonial be. ruler. As a matter of fact, many observers and even government officials from the UK stated that the UK are beneficiaries of reverse colonialism. This comes to show the massive growth of Indian businessmen and corporations in the United Kingdom. Collectively, it is reported that as of 2021, India had emerged as the second largest source of foreign wow. direct investments for the UK, investing in 99 projects and creating 4,830 awesome. jobs. Separate data reported by Invest India showed that India is the second wow. largest FDI contributor in the UK. Over 954 number. Indian companies employing 105,931 people operate in the UK, with combined revenues of $65 billion oh. from 900 companies in 2022. Now, if these are not enough to tell you that India Zinedine is indeed player. a big player in the UK, then one should look at the many British oh. billionaires with Indian origin. One of the most famous belongs to the Hinduya family. It's known that the Hinduya family has oh a net God. worth of tens of billions of dollars. They originated from British India, but most of its families, especially its head, had lived in London. The Lakshmi Matalan family likewise resides in the United Kingdom. These and many more Indian billionaires are choosing to live in the UK. But it's also important to know that the UK is also a big investor in India. According to Invest India, the UK is the sixth largest investor in India and has invested $34.3 billion in FDI inflows between April 2000 to June 2023. There are currently 618 UK companies in India with a combined turnover of $45.6 billion, employing about 466,640 people directly as of 2022. Now finally, let's discuss another key feat of these investments, the impact. The economic impacts of these acquisitions and particularly what they mean for India. First, let's talk about job creation. When a large Indian company invests abroad, it often leads to job creation back home. How? By acquiring a foreign company, an Indian firm can gain access to new technologies and markets, allowing it to expand its operations, which may require additional manpower, therefore creating jobs. Next, there's the issue of technology transfer. For example, by acquiring Jaguar Land Rover, the Tata Group taps into advanced automotive technology. This technology can then be brought to India, paving the way for advancements in the automotive industry, a sector yeah. India is keen on developing. Another crucial impact is the strengthening of trade relations between India and the UK. As Indian companies invest in the UK, they bring in revenue, which contributes to a favorable trade balance. Over time, this helps in negotiating better trade terms, benefiting both countries. Finally, the most important facet of an investment of is that it generates money. When Indian businesses buy overseas companies, it is not for publicity, but it is for making overseas money in dollars, euros, or in pounds. These can then translate into many things. They can use these new dollars to buy more companies overseas, or they can bring it back to their home country, presenting another form of capital. For instance, Jaguar and Land Rover in its fourth quarter of 2023 reported over 7.1 oh. billion pounds in revenue and gained profit before tax and others of over 368 million pounds. This money does not go anywhere, but either back to the company, paid in dividends to its owners such as Tata Motors, or may even be used to funnel investments in India. But it's not all roses. There's a flip side to this trend. When Indian companies acquire firms abroad, they might shift their focus away from the domestic market, especially if the overseas market offers better profit margins. This could lead to reduced investment in India, which could be a concern. But it brings the big question to light. India is the world's most promising developing country. Yeah. It is growing in high single digits every single year. Whereas the UK has long been known to be a developed country, with population and economic growth to be in the low digits. So how could these Indian businesses justify their investments in the UK?
Well, this is arguably a question of geopolitics. However, as we mentioned earlier, one must also look at the technological transfers that can be in play. In the end, whatever happens, these are all still good economic impacts. These acquisitions can be seen as steps toward turning India a into global a global powerhouse. powerhouse. These acquisitions, ah. after all, are not limited to the UK, but are seen all across the world. So my friends, uh, I really enjoyed watching this video. There is a lot of information uh, about the investment uh, of uh, India and UK. Uh, actually, we can say that uh, life is like a circle and now it's the time for India uh, to be brilliant in the world again. Uh, because uh, as we know how much uh, when UK um, colonized India, uh, she, uh, she make her lose a lot. So we can say that uh, now it's India's moment, now it's India's, mo uh, India's time. So everything will be on the right way again. So uh, my friends, as we see how much India uh, make a lot of effort to invest in UK and uh, you can tell me your opinion about this video also in the comments. Uh, so my friends, uh, I hope that you enjoyed my reaction video and if you want to see more reaction videos, please mention your recommendations in the comments and if you want to see more reaction shorts, uh, follow me on my new Instagram page. See you in the next video. Have a nice time. Love you all. Bye.